it's Carrie. Today I'm in the garden harvesting my favorite thing to make my cleaning vinegar out of. Did you know you can make your cleaning vinegar? It's so easy and you can make it at home with no vinegar to start with. I've made vinegar with all kinds of different things. Some of them turned out good, some of them didn't, and I'm going to show you all the different ones that I've tried and what I, my favorite thing is to use. So we'll start out with what I've tried. I've tried bunch of different mint vinegars. I think I have like eight mint vinegars that I've tried and only one of them is okay. My favorite or the one that was okay is the orange mint. It turned out really good and all the others were really really funky. I've also tried different things like aloe. I've done that because it was supposed to be good for my hair and or for hair. I like to use vinegar for my hair and uh, it did not turn out good either. It was, it's, the smell is horrendous and it is not good at all. But my favorite thing to use is lemon balm. This is one of my lemon balm plants. I, what I do to make lemon balm, I like to make a gallon of vinegar at once. So I cut the lemon balm, I cut it like this and then I just cut it in chunks. I do stalk and all. And I will show you how I make mine. I kind of do it the lazy way because I sometimes forget to stir it and things. So I do it as easy as possible with as few steps as possible. So I fill mine really full. Like I'll even punch it down like that and then keep going. I like, I like to put a lot in there because it smells really good. This is the best smelling one ever. I don't know if y'all have ever smelled lemon balm before, but it has such a bright lemon smell it is the best really it's crazy especially if you live somewhere you don't have citrus it kind of fills in that smell that you like to have with cleaning let's see we're about there i keep going i like to use a lot of it but that is my favorite thing to use i use the vinegar for all kinds of different things i add a little bit of it to water and I use that to wash my hair. I have curly hair so that is really nice and works pretty good. I also use it in the laundry a lot. I use it in my multi-purpose cleaners and I'm trying to think what else I use. I think that's mostly it. Mostly with laundry and just my cleaners that I use to spray everything. We'll finish this bunch here and I think we will have it full enough but I just cut little bits off I'm not like particular or do it any certain way I just fill it to about a little over halfway and that's all I have to do outside and I will meet you inside to show you the next next step we're back inside and we have the lemon balm in the jar and now I need to add sugar I usually add this Zolka Marina sugar but my I tried to get this for my hummingbirds and try but they decided to go on strike so I need to use this up because I'm back to this. <laughs> so we're gonna use this. And I was also gonna tell you, I recently found out that you can get two gallon bags at Walmart, these Ziploc kind of bags. And you, they fit the 10 pound bags of sugar and flour really well. So now we need to add our sugar. And since I have a gallon here, I'm going to add one cup of sugar. I have a half cup measure here, so I'm going to do two. It's just easier to pour into the jar that way. So if you had a, wanted to do a smaller batch for a quart, you'd use a quarter of a cup, or a half a gallon, you'd use a half a cup. Now after I get the sugar in, I pour the water in. I've got a few here. Let's see. And I also only use filtered water. I don't use uh, city water. That kind of messes with the fer fermentation of it. So I use that. And I own, to make it easier to where I don't have to stir it as much, I fill it about right there. So I fill it right here because it's going to bubble up as it starts to ferment. And a lot of people fill it up to here, but if you do it a little lower, it kind of almost gives you an extra day to where you don't have to stir it because a lot of people stir it every day, but I don't. I stir it every couple days. So after that, I, I don't worry about stirring it or anything the first day. I add a little cloth of some kind and a rubber band and then I just sit it on the counter 
and it's ready to go for two days and then I will show you what it looks like then. It's day two and you can see how all the lemon balm has rose to the top and we have the water down here. Whenever I used to fill it up, I would fill the water like to here and it would come an overflow. <laughs> so this is why I do it this way and only fill the water to here. Um, you can see how bubbly it's starting to get. And on day two, all I do is just stir it, stir it like this, and I push all the herbs down too. I stir it just like that, and then I add the cloth, and I don't mess with it again for another two days. Hey y'all, it's day five, and yeah, it's day five. <laughs> I skipped today. <laughs> so this is why I like this system, because it gives you leeway. And as you can see on day five, it's not bubbling over. So I also forgot to mention that it's best to use a wooden spoon instead of metal because that can react with what's going on your fermentation in here and it might cause it to not work like you want it to. But I'll show you, we'll show you in here how, how nice it looks, how fizzy it still is and you want to be sure and push all that lemon balm down and get it all pushed down and like that and then all I do is just Add the lid and put the rubber band on and let it sit for another two days. We'll see you then. Hey y'all, it's day seven and here's what it looks like. It is starting to smell a bit like wine. And let's see, we still got lots of bubbles so we still need to keep stirring it every couple days. But that's what it's looking like at day seven. You just need to put the cloth back on and the rubber band. And I'll see you again in two more days. Hey y'all, it's day 13 and it is starting to smell more like vinegar and less like wine. But it's probably, yep, it's still a little bit bubbly here. But at this point it is really forgiving and you can wait and stir it about every five to seven days whenever you think about it. And I'll see you then. Hey y'all, it's day 21 and it is really starting to smell like vinegar. Every time you walk by it, you can really start to smell it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like at the top here and like just like before, I just push it down just like this. And if you are worried about mold or something like that growing on it and waiting like a week or longer, you can stir it more frequently, but I really don't worry about it too much. It's just a cleaning vinegar and it's gonna, you know, the vinegar part of it, whenever it's there, it'll kill the mold. So I don't worry about it too much, but we will see you again in probably about a week. Talk to you later. Okay, it's day 25 and every time you walk by it smells like vinegar and you can see it's starting to put the mother on like that, that white gel stuff, that's the mother. And all I do is I just stir it, I just push it down even with the mother and everything. I just push it down like that and then I will see you again in five more days and it will be done and I will show you what I do from there. Hey y'all, it's day 30 and our vinegar is all done. Now whenever I first started, I started, I wanted to make sure it was like the 5% acidity and test the pH here, so I bought this and I am really cheap, <laughs> so I use scissors and I cut it up like this, well if I can get it right here, I do that and then I cut each piece a few times. So I have multiples of them. I really don't even use this much anymore. I pretty much know whenever it's ready. But to test it, I like to, I was also gonna show how good the mother is in there. You got a really big mother. And I didn't start with any vinegar or anything. It's just like that and it makes a mother that good. And what I do is I take a little pipette like this and I get just a little bit out. That's probably more than I need. But I get just a little bit out and I put it on something. I don't do this on my counter because it stained it once. So I do that because I don't, I don't want to mess anything up. And I take this uh, card here and that shows where it's at. So you can tell that it's dark enough. So it's at the 5% the acidity there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell on the red plate, but it's, it's there. Okay, so once we test it and we know it's exactly the pH that we want, I take a strainer 
and put it inside of another bowl and I just strain it off. And since I did big chunks, if you don't have one of the jars that has the big lids on it or the wide, wider mouth area, you might have to do this. And if you cut it up smaller, you won't have to worry about that. So I strain it like that. And I always keep an extra bowl to put it into. And then I just reuse these plastic uh, jugs here. And I will then put, I put another sieve and I use a funnel and then I strain it again. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, so we'll strain it again. And usually I don't get a full gallon out of that because I didn't fill it all the way but it's easier for me to do it that way to where I don't have to worry about it it overflowing in the early stages and that's what I end up with with one that much like that and I use this to uh, for all different things I use this little a little bottle like this and I fill it about that much with vinegar and then the rest with water and I use that to wash my hair and that works really well I use it to clean my washing machine and I also use it in another cleaner that I make. I'll have a video coming out about that later. But I guess that's all. It's really awesome, really cheap, and it smells so much better than any other vinegar. It has that lemony smell since we used the lemon balm. And I hope this helps someone. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you try it or you make your own vinegar and what you use. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.